In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Delta Math assignment from within Schoology and how if you have linked sections in Schoology, you can make sure that it is assigned to all of your sections. So right now, I'm in one of my Schoology courses, and you can see here I have three sections that are linked. So I have this one, I have section one, and I have section two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Delta Math assignment. So I'm going to do it in my Delta Math folder, and so what I'm going to do and then click this green dotted line and then click add file link external tool and then I'm going to select external tool. I'm going to scroll up in this new window and from this drop down in the tool provider I'm going to select the Delta, Delta Math, the first one. You're going to give this a name so I'm just going to call this test 3 Delta I'm going to enable grading which is a must in order for your students to be able to access this you can give it a point value, you have to give it a, a category, and if you want to choose different due dates by different sections, you can customize it, otherwise you can just choose a due date and time for everybody. So once you have all of that set up, I'm going to click Submit. So now I have the shell of my Delta Math assignment, so I'm going to click on the name of it so that I can actually get into Delta Math. So if you have used Delta Math and you already have assignments created that you would now like to use with your new school year of students, what you can do is in this landing page here, you're going to go ahead and click on Copy Assignment. So you can see here all different assignments that I have created and they are linked to other courses. So you can see I have some that were um, assigned in June and they were linked to a different Schoology course, which is why I need to make a copy of them. So let's say I want to use this one. So I'm going to select copy and then it's going to bring me over here. So at the time I have one skill set listed here. You can add other ones or edit it, um, but what I'm going to do if you want to do that, I'm just going to come, come click over here. If I wanted to add more questions um, with different concepts, I can filter this out a little bit and let's just say I am just want to concentrate on eighth grade concepts. So here are some of the concepts that fall under eighth grade. Let's say I want to include uh, rational numbers. So I can click on rational numbers and then I can further um, pick a concept here. So let's say I want to pick this one. So what, by adding this, you can see by default it says, do you want to require five questions that cover this particular concept? You can change this if you want. Um, so let's just say I only want to include, uh, both make three, and then if you want a penalty for each wrong answer, you can um, choose that, and by default there will be one, but if you don't want to have a penalty for the student not getting correct on the first time, you can select this. And the students won't be able to move on until they actually get three right in here. So I have this done. Now I have to go over to these other two tabs and just make sure everything else is set up correctly. Do I want to post this assignment immediately? Yes. Do I want it to be in a folder? I don't need to do that right now. Um, time limit, if you want to set a time limit. So you can just kind of scroll through all of these things and just make any adjustments that you need to. Grade passback, so if you want your grades to appear in your school G grade book, you may want to change this if you want it right away. Otherwise, it's going to do it at the due date and time that is set. Or you can select manual passback, which gives you the option to push grades over into your grade book. The last thing it's going to ask me to do is select a due date. Even though we selected a due date already when we created this in Schoology, that was the Schoology part of this. So we do have to select a due date here. So I'll just say this is due this Monday by 8 a.m. And then I'm going to select Create Assignment. So now that the assignment was created, it was only created for this first section. Remember, this, is, this course has three linked sections. So when I click on these other, um, this drop down here, you can see my other sections. I now have to do a little repeating of the process for section one and section two. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on my first linked section. So I don't have to actually go through the whole rigmarole that I went through before because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to link to an existing assignment. So by clicking this, you can see here 
This is the one that we were just working with. So I'm now going to select link. And now you can see it has been linked to this assignment. And it will actually show you that now two sections in this course now have access to this assignment. You can make changes individually to each section if you want to, but it's not required. If you don't need to make any changes, then this will be, um, you won't be able to click assignment save because it's already done the work for you. So now I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on over to my section two. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to link, link to an existing assignment. And I'm going to click link. Now you can see I have three sections that will get this particular assignment. If I don't need to change anything here, then my work here is done. So I'm going to come back over to my materials and go into the assignment. And you can see here the assignment is created. And we now have it linked to three sections. So now I am logged into Schoology as a student who is in section two of this course. You recall I had three sections. This was the second section that I had a link manually after. So let's see what this looks like from the student perspective. So if I go into here and I click on the test that I just created, this will now load because I linked the assignment. So the student will go through this, they'll submit their answers, and then on your end, when next time you click on the assignment in your Delta Math folder, um, you will start to see grades populate. It won't be immediate, it usually takes a couple of um, minutes to sync over, um, but if you had selected to um, post those grades immediately into your gradebook, then you will start to see them populate.